Okay, so if you have a floor that's above the ground plane, um, your character will default go to the ground plane unless you right click on the um, on the floor and convert to terrain. So before I do that, I will go ahead and add my character, um, drag it into my scene, and you'll see that it um, inserts into the scene um, with the feet on the grid. So below that um, floor that I put in. So now what I'm going to do is um, with my character selected, I'm going to go up here and say foot contact and turn that on. And then I'm going to convert my floor to an actual part of the terrain. So convert to terrain. Um, and now you'll see when I clicked on my character, he adjusted his feet to then be on that terrain. So um, let me go ahead and delete the character. If I just insert a character um, after I've converted my floor to terrain, then he will be at that level. And if I then added a motion, let me find a motion to add to this character. Um, so I'll just add a motion here. Then you can see he stays on that um, terrain floor. So anytime, and you can have more than one floor as terrain. So if, if there are different levels, you can, you know, make a new, you know, terrain level. You cannot have one terrain underneath another. The Well, the upper one will take precedence. So, you know, but if you had like, you know, a one terrain that was one height and another was another height. You know, if you had two different floor levels, you could make each of them terrain. Or if you have uneven, you know, like ground, um, like in your set, you can convert the entire ground to the terrain and the character can then have proper foot contact with the entire undulating terrain. All right, hope that helped.